Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 9. I'm an old guy, Kami, and we are going to continue our adventure here on the planet uh, Cauldron. So I got to thinking, uh, I had told you in the last episode that I was going to do some of this uh, mining and exploration off camera, and then I got to thinking, nah, let's not do that. Let's let's bring it back and show the peeps. Um, the show here, basically. I might uh, do some editing of this, just depending upon, you know, how exciting things go, but we have a lot of planet yet to uncover here on Cauldron. We also need uh, iron and silicon. I'm sorry, iron and and copper, in order to build the jade jet. We currently have the um, in the factory. Where's the factory? In the factory, we we currently have the warp shuttle micro CV version two cooking up. We have 26 more minutes, so that should be done by the end of this episode. Uh, this is a small capital vessel. It's based off the original design by Rustimus, uh, which is just the Where's that at here? I like to give credit to the people that you know came up with these originally. So this is Rustimus's version. I pulled this um, off the workshop and I modified it and made it the version two. This is not on the workshop, by the way. But if you guys are interested, uh, just let me know and I can put it up there. Uh, but all credit goes to Rustimus for the original design of this. But basically, just this is just an upgraded version of it uh, with you know better steel, a, few, uh, a little more capabilities, uh, some docking capability, that sort of thing. Uh, I'll show you all that stuff when we actually spawn it in. But if you guys have seen my previous seasons, then you've already seen that shuttle anyway, so you pretty much know what it's all about. All right, so I've got uh, some shotgun shells cooking up in here. Um, so we got that done. I wanted to go back out here and see if we could repair this little divot now that we have the Tech 2 laser. So we want a filler. And let's... um. Okay, so yeah, it's letting us at least bring that back up. Press E to pick up buds. What? There were buds there? Oh! That's why it wouldn't let us put a block in there, because were, there were buds there. We just couldn't see them. They were invisible. Well, that ex sort of explains that. <laughs> um, where are our concrete blocks? We should have more concrete blocks somewhere. Those are small blocks. Oh, that is weird. I could have sworn we had more uh, concrete blocks somewhere. Well, hell, let's just make one. Uh, steel block. Oh, all of the stones in here. So we just want a normal concrete block. I'm a little confused about that, cause, though, because I should I should have more of those somewhere. I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot, but it's just weird. Oh, you know, the other thing we need is food. I don't have any food. So we'll be uh, doing a little hunting while we're out and about as well. And uh, we got a bunch of biofuel here for the miner. I want to save uh, the Promethium for the ship. And so, actually, let's put that away so I don't accidentally use it in the mining vessel. We don't have a lot of Promethium. Uh, we have five fusion cells too. Our very first stop uh, on the capital vessel is going to be the moon of Cauldron. Now we did go to the moon on, on uh, Garak, but we have not been to Cauldron's moon. And our main goal there will be to get uh, both Pentaxit and Promethium uh, from the moon from Cauldron so that we can then travel to the stars. I like the sound of that, traveling to the stars. It's going to be fun. All right, guys, um, I think we're ready to roll. It's feels like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know what it would be. So let's head on out here and grab our six mining lasers. And we're going to pop those right in place. I love these things. And I love them on the capital vessels now, too. Amazing. Oh, yeah, we need to, we need to fix our paint. Let's grab our paint gun here and a texture gun. No, not, not our gun gun. I did it again. This gun. Okay, so this one we want to set to camo. Which is, where is that? Right here. And then we want to switch to this gun. And that's green. 
green, 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 and these are brown. So everything matches and looks good on our camo miner. This has been a pretty good little mining vessel. I built this in, uh, in uh, Alpha 8 on this, uh, during our multiplayer stream. And it's turned out to be pretty good. It's it's de definitely heavily inspired by the ladybug, um, for sure. Because the ladybug used to be my uh, starting miner of choice. In fact, I, I, you know I've even used the ladybug in the end game just because it's so good at what it does. About a modified version of it, of course. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head who the original designer of the Ladybug is, but if you just go to the Steam Workshop and type in Ladybug for hover vessels, it'll come right up. It's probably one of the most popular hover vessels on the workshop uh, today. Okay, so we need food, we need copper, we need iron. That's what we're going to do. Let's hop in here, turn on the power. Let's take a look and see how much fuel we have. Uh, we're just going to put that thing all the way to the top. And we're ready to go. I like the look of my base at night with the little red lights coming out the towers and stuff. It looks good. I should probably color the lights there. Oh, my friend Maruski wanted me to put a patio table and chair out on the deck. We should, Maru, we should probably, if you're watching this, we should probably do like a little side patio for that and not put it on the on this one because it'll probably get run over by the ships. <laughs> uh, all right, so guys, we need, uh, we, we got some rough terrain ahead. I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't maybe tackle this in a small vessel instead of a hovercraft, but we don't have a small vessel handy to us quite yet. So I think what we're going to do is we might see if we can come through this way, because uh, it looks like we can get through here without too much trouble and get out, you know, over onto these planes on this side and just see, you know, what we might be able to uncover. Uh, or we could go, instead of doing that, we could go west and kind of do the same thing. This might get a little rough in through here. Excuse me, but it looks like we could potentially work our way through here, maybe. Yeah, we probably could get through there. There's like a little valley here, and then we could probably pop out here. So, yeah, let's do that. O only because we're a little closer to that to that side than we are this side. So we want to kind of go northwestish and up and around through here. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it to it. So we're looking for iron, we're looking for copper. If we see a silicon deposit, we'll probably grab it though too, even though we're actually doing okay on silicon at the moment. And we also need to uh, kill a couple of uh, lizard mules too, because we need some food. Uh, tell me I brought my portable constructor. No, that is not a portable constructor, that is a heater. I am very glad decided to check that. Do we have a constructor on here? Oh, we do. We can make food in this, can't we? Yes, okay, we're good. We're good. We're all good. Unknown helix. Well, I think that's an O-tug that we just heard over there. They're all over. Temperature aside, though, the arid planet's actually a hell of a lot safer than the temper planet in terms of creatures. Really, the only thing on this planet that I've seen that'll attack you is the is this guy, and he he's really you know you can actually outrun him. He's not that fast. Uh, you got a lot more mean creatures on the temper planets than you do on the arid planet. But this can be a, a rough place to start early on because of the the weather and all that. Especially if you get a heat wave, that can be bad. Bad juju. All right, let's go down this way. And we're just kind of scoping the place out. This planet is a lot more mountainous than I guess I realized. We just happen to be in the area that's the part of the planet that doesn't have as many mountains. But I'm hoping we can... We won't have too much trouble getting around them in the hovercraft. And we do definitely need to get some food here pretty quick. So I'm getting low. Alright, where are we at? Okay, let's just basically... Okay, so this area is more like hills. It's not quite mountains. So this is 
not going to be a problem traversing this. So I suppose we could kill the Otugs. Um, they only give you one meat per, which is a little silly. But we got to get some meat going here, so let's do it. Even see me or what? Uh, now he does. Man, it almost seemed like I wasn't hitting him. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. Almost. I'm pretty sure I wasn't actually hitting him. All right, let's open this guy up and. Assign a small ammo box. Oh, okay, we'll just have to use the, the cargo box, I guess. So that means we have to open up that, put the meat in there. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass to have to do it that way, but there we go. Okay, so while that's cooking up, let's go shoot that other guy. Where was he at? He's over there. Oh, not good. Didn't even see him at all. Got to get underneath him. He's hosed. Damn. Man, was not paying attention to that at all. You know, that, re that something just occurred to me, too. We don't have any kind of defense on the miner. I usually carry, like, a little turret with me and just pop it on if we need it. So I wonder if we should go back to the base and do that. Because we might get ourselves into a little bit of, of a pickle otherwise. Our only other option will be... You know, let's say we find the, a deposit while, and then it's camp, because a lot of times they are. I'm going to have to jump out and kill it by hand, which is pretty damn dangerous for me to do. So I think we probably better go back to the base and get a turret for this thing. It's a good thing uh, that little drone reminded us that we needed to do that now before we got super far away. So, silver linings and all that, right? I wonder if we can get through this way. Probably. Let's try it. Yeah, what I do uh, with this guy is I just carry a, a little minigun turret with me. And if I see an enemy, we just jump out real quick and pop it on. And uh, it seems to work pretty good for an inexpensive setup in the early game. Lots of, lots of gullies, little pockets of gullies in, in this terrain here. Not easy to get around in. Hovercraft doesn't have too much trouble, but on a motorcycle, it'd be a royal pain in the butt. Whoop! Upside down. All right, almost there. I'd like to find some lizard mules. They're going to give us more meat. And they don't bite. They don't bite back. Alright. Let's um, quickly make ourselves a little minigun turret. One minigun turret should have no problem whatsoever handling drones on a starter planet. Let's also grab the the meat out of here. Uh, which is in the harvest box. Top, that, top us off a little bit there. Let's make sure we have the Megan turret learned. Uh, hover vessel. Many good turrets. There we go. And we want to select that. We want to select this. And we want to make a minigun turret. 
And that is going to take minigun ammunition, which we happen to have 752 rounds of already. That's a good thing. And she should be done. Okay, let's see here. So I won't keep this attached when we're actually mining because it gets in the way. But while we're traveling, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it on there. And yeah, it sticks up in the air, but you know what? Who cares? It works. Let's group all these together. And for the turret, we want it just to do... Yeah, we could have it do Predators 2 until we get some meat, I suppose. Alright, and this takes 15 mil bullets. Oh, you know what? I think I think the ammo that... Uh, that minigun ammo is actually for the handheld minigun. So we need we need 15 mil bullets, which I don't believe we have any. We had we made some for our small vessel back on Garak, but we don't have any here, so we got to make some uh, nitrocellulose. We put that over here. Man, I'm still not used to the fact that we have to uh, um, use these containers instead of you know directly using the deals. We're gonna make this in here because I think it'll be a little faster. All right, so there's a hundred count there. Uh, that will give us a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. So that'll give us basically two stacks. While we're waiting for that, let's go out here and check our water. And we'll reload this off camera. Before I started this episode, I checked these two guys and they're making fuel uh, this doesn't have anything going in it I don't know that we really need to though yeah it's better to have too many of those than not enough I suppose oh that's right we made a block uh, to fix that thingy too where did the block go it is right here still confused about what happened to my other blocks I don't know why I did So this should fit right here. Oh, it still doesn't want to fit. Why not? It'll fit there. But it doesn't want to fit in any of these spots here. I don't get that. I'm confused, man. I mean, it said that there was a, a bud there, but we picked it. That's just bizarre. Well, all right, can we bring this up a little more then, at least? Smooth it out a little bit, perhaps? See, it said press E to pick up buds again. It, it, it just did, didn't it? Yeah, it's like there's something there. I just saw it for a moment. Press E to pick up buds. And now I lost it again. There. Okay. Is this kind of like the invisible trees in the Huzuma, was it, biome? The radiation biome? I don't know. That is just weird. Well, we're just going to leave it that way, I guess. At least we filled the hole up. Alright. So, 
here's our ammo. And we're good to go. All right, let's try this again. Let's take a hit of O2 and get that topped off. Yeah, I know it looks stupid, but um, I don't want to pull all those blocks off and put it down there. So we're just going to pretend like it's a hovering minigun. And we're going to be happy about it, and we're not going to let it bother us. All right. So currently we have the turret set to predators. But we will only keep that on until we kill enough otugs to to get enough meat. Oops. All right, let's try this again. Now we have some defense or if you're an otug offense. Okay, there's some Lizzie's. Lizzie mules. I don't want those guys. Sorry, boys. Uh, but I gotta eat. Man. So that gives us five, five meat. Uh, he didn't give us any meat at all. Yeah, we'll grab that stuff. We kill them. Let's not waste it. Okay. So we want to put these in the harvest box. That will just eat right now. Indigestion? Oh, for Pete's sake. Alright, let's go back here. Uh, we want the constructor, not the core, the constructor. And we want to go to food. And we want to make some steaks. Alright, we got to find a... Um, Gotta find some herbal leaves to take care of our indigestion. Indigestion now. Let's see if we can find some aloes over here in this little grassy area. Yeah, there's some right there. Are you shooting at otugs? No, I'm shooting at a spider. Right, let's go pick this this uh, herbal leaf here and take care of our stomach ache and then we'll have another hopefully get another piece of meat off this spider over here yes we did nice. all right onward Boost there. So we are heading in a westerly direction. We're uncovering more of the planet here and we are looking for copper and iron deposits so we can try out our shiny new mining lasers. Moving up in the world. Feels good. Feels good. Xerox. Yeah, Xerox does not like me. I've killed lots of their dudes. But uh, their dudes try and kill me, so all is fair in love and war and all that, right? Hello? Man. Okay, come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Now we get out into some flat terrain here. Let's 
go over this way. Okay, looks like we have a floating structure of some sort up in the sky there. Man. Yeah, look at that place. Something uh, that I'm gonna actually do too. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna take that trip. Oh shit! No 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 no! We don't want to go in the water. Uh, we're gonna take that trip to the moon. But before we actually like really head to the stars, I want to do a little bit of uh, questing. Uh, keep working on the Robinson Protocol. I never finished the Robinson Protocol in Alpha Eight. This is a interesting place here. Only got part way through it, so I'd like to finish that, and so maybe we'll kind of work on that in the next few episodes. Come on, ship! I don't know what that thing's shooting at. Let's see if we can get through this terrain here, man. This is rough stuff. either because oh actually yeah we, we could probably come down here and then scooch out this other side all right there's some more lizzie mules what are you shooting at oh that thing why are you gonna shoot him or not all right let's um Let's kill these guys and then I think we're good on we'll be okay for meat. Not a good idea to get that far away from my turret with drones in the area. Okay, so let's grab another one of those just in case this milk we're about to drink makes us sick. Now you're shooting the slug dude. gives three pieces of meat too and slug milk nice slug milk is exactly what I wanted to eat let's have some tasty lizard mule and slug milk mixed together uh, and let's go to our harvester put that in there pull this out go to the constructor and make some more steaks meanwhile uh, we'll suck down all this milk, and if we get sick again, we have more herbal leaves. Set that down there. And one more bite of that, and we should be all set on food. Okay, good. Uh, let's turn the turrets off now for predators, and only have it shoot. Aliens. Okay, onward. Onward in our exploration. You lizard mules get to live to see another day. Because I've already killed your cousins for, for lunch. Nice little lush area. Oasis. station and we have a drone our turret should 
Show him what for. Oh man, the time's up already. station doesn't have any turrets on it fortunately most of the POI I don't know if I should say most but many of the POIs in Alpha 9 no longer have the big guns on them that was some nice stuff stock did say that they have some external gun emplacements though at that. I'm just wasting ammo. Alright, we're about sorry. Oh wow, we're way down south. I didn't think we were that far south. Alright. Uh, looks like we have some Polaris territory. We're going to have to stay south because I don't want to get up into this stuff. And maybe when we hit uh, this lake we could cut north or we could actually just stay south all the way around just to get it uncovered. That's what we'll do. Those mountains, that mountainous area, we really need to hit with a small vessel, not a hover vessel. I'm thinking. Well, hopefully we will find ourselves an iron deposit and or a copper deposit somewhere down along in here. But we are out of time, guys. So... Um, I'm going to let you go here, and when we come back in the next episode, I will. I, I'm just going to continue uh, traveling around the South Pole here, uh, uncovering more of the map, looking for iron, looking for copper, that sort of thing. Uh, but we should, if we don't already, we should actually have our capital vessel ready to roll. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we do. Okay. So uh, when we get back to the base this is a big Polaris area here uh, we'll be able to get that capital vessel going oh there's a Prometheum deposit we might actually nab that uh, we can safely mine on Polaris land because we are honored with them reputation wise oh this is kind of cool these are, these are new POIs I haven't actually looked at these before mining towers uh, more Prometheum. Beautiful. Maybe we won't have to go to the moon to get promo. This is kind of cool. I like this. Maybe what maybe what we'll do is we'll I'll just start the next episode here and we'll we'll just get out and just kind of take a look around at uh, these areas because these are new POIs. Man, I haven't seen these before. And then uh, we have Prometheums and silicon, so we'll probably just hit all of that because we need all of it. this over here okay so that's the those are those uh, like gun towers that stock was talking about but fortunately uh, they're not shooting at us because we're we're pals with Polaris that's kind of cool how they have this set up though all right guys well I think we'll do that let's um let's go ahead and leave off here and we'll come back in the next episode and we'll take a look at these uh, Polaris POIs and check them out because they are new and they look really cool park right here <coughs> anyway thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel uh come and hang out with us on discord if you want to come and see me on live stream i do live stream several times a week on twitch you can find the links to both of those places in the about section of the youtube channel i want to remind you that i am out the last two weeks in january i will not be releasing any new content during those two weeks i'll be on a business trip but i am trying to pre-record uh, as many episodes as possible and I will schedule those so they kind of so they're kind of staggered so you still get Imperion content uh, while I'm gone. There may be a few days towards the end of January where you won't see anything, but when I get back, we will resume making videos in Imperion. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.